Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make a vanilla waffle cake. Waffle cakes are super fun and easy to make. All you need is a bowl, maybe a hand mixer, and a waffle iron. Today we're gonna make a vanilla waffle cake with a whipped chocolate ganache. So to start, we're gonna pour two cups, or about 12 ounces, or one bag, of chocolate chips into a bowl. Then get one cup of heavy cream heating on the stove to a simmer. Then you'll just pour the simmering cream directly over the chocolate chips. You wanna let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then you can see, as I put my rubber spatula in here, that it's starting to melt, so you wanna stir it together and keep on stirring until it's nice and smooth and all of the chocolate is melted. Then once it's smooth, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge to chill for about an hour. Then after an hour, you can see it's nice and thick in the bowl, so I'm gonna use a hand mixer and start whipping it until it's light and fluffy. After a couple of minutes, you should end up with a nice, fluffy chocolate ganache frosting. I'm using milk chocolate today, but you can also use semi-sweet, whatever is your personal preference. Pop that into the fridge while we go ahead and make our waffle cake. For the cake batter, start with half a cup of softened salted butter in a bowl, and you wanna whip this until it's light and fluffy. After about a minute on that, you can add in three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, and whip this in until it's nice and creamy. Once that is all combined, you can pour in one cup of buttermilk. And of course, if you don't have buttermilk, you can always use a buttermilk substitute with either lemon juice or vinegar. The full instructions are on my website. You'll also need one large egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You wanna mix this in. Then for the dry ingredients, you'll need one and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You wanna mix this in until it's just combined. Once it's all combined, we're ready to waffle. Now, of course, you can use whatever waffle maker you have at home. You don't need to go buy a special one just to make this. But I love to make a waffle cake using a Belgian waffle iron because it's deeper and it just makes for a beautiful round little cake. I take a heaping half cup is what fills my waffle iron. Place it down in there, it's nice and hot. Actually, I may add a little bit more. I'm gonna get three waffles out of this and I'm gonna let it cook. Then once it's done, you can go ahead and gently remove it from the waffle iron and transfer it to a wire rack to cool completely. Cook up the rest of your batter until you have three or four waffles, depending on the size of your waffle iron, so that we can assemble our cake. Place a completely cooled waffle onto a cake stand, and then you can pile on some of that whipped chocolate ganache and spread it out and put on the next layer and it's okay if things start falling apart a little bit and layer on more ganache and then place the final waffle on top of that then for the top i just plop a little bit of the ganache on and then i just add some berries on top to make it pretty and then that's it you are ready to eat you'll want to store this in the refrigerator Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.